Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to another episode of the Regal Royals. It's Natasha Red here and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful new year so far. Thank God 2020 is over and that we survived it and I'm excited to see what 2021 has in store for us. So right now I'm actually recording this just the day after Christmas so I don't know what state the world's gonna be in by the time you guys see this episode but hopefully you guys had a wonderful holiday season and that everything is going well for you and also I am at home so that's not typically where I film my videos so my setup is a little bit different so hopefully you won't be able to tell that too much by the quality of this video but you guys let's get on into this episode so you guys saw that machinima it was I I feel like it's not the absolute best in the world but that was my very 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 first time making a machinima and I wanted to go like there was a lot of ideas I had to do it even more but I figured I better not get ahead of myself for my very first time but I hope that you guys liked it. I don't know why it was snowing inside of Martinez Jacqueline's house because the roof was on so that was really irritating but yeah you guys so as you guys could see in that machinima Martinez Jacqueline and Queen Lauren had a conversation and Queen Lauren and King Fletcher are now in Mount Komorebi so we're about to see them in just a moment but also Queen Lauren and King Fletcher left without telling their kids what's going on and where they are at so I'm sure that that is not going to go over well you guys know that the king and queen don't really do the best with like dealing with tough situations and I'm sure that with everything going on Queen Lauren you know just so conveniently put that on <laughs> marching as Jacqueline so we're gonna see how the kids respond to that because they don't know where their parents are at also as we saw in the machinima Prince Ajmal reached out to Princess Clara to see why she wasn't at the party and now we know that she wasn't there because she was just so upset seeing her dad in so much pain so Prince Ajmal is actually going to be spending more time with Princess Clara so we're gonna see that a little bit later as well but right now Queen Lauren has already kind of gotten King Fletcher sent off with staff to get to like a health facility and she is going to speak to the trusted advisor which if you remember that is Liu Wei Chao who is the older brother of Empress and he's the illegitimate royal so she is at his house first because she was told that she would have to speak to the advisor before she could have the opportunity to speak to the empress because who knows if Empress Lena will actually help them because like Queen Lauren said it takes a lot of boldness to come into a brand new kingdom that you've never visited before they don't know anything about you asking for favors so we're gonna see how well this will go for her so let's go on ahead and get started if you're excited please give this video a thumbs up and let's get on into it okay you guys so we have Queen Lauren in the house of Lu Wei and it looks like his daughters are out too. They're probably just being a little bit nosy and looks like she's introducing herself to him and just explaining hi I'm Queen Lauren from the kingdom of Newcrest. She really should have did a respectful introduction. I told her to. I don't know why she didn't. That probably would have been a big helper for her. Let's see if we can have her do that. It looks like since she's already talking to him probably not. Oh we should have her give him a gift because she definitely wants to look good to this kingdom and she didn't do a respectful introduction she's feeling confident so maybe she feels like you know what after I butter them up a bit we will be just fine so I know that money makes Lu Wei happy so okay he's feeling good about Queen Lauren became good friends they just met okay maybe I guess hey if somebody gave me ten thousand dollars I'd become good friends with them too but let's have her explain to Lu Wei you know how things are going okay so she's explaining the situation and why she's there Dayu looks so sad oh Dayu and as y'all see Queen Lauren has her good tiara and her matching jewels she doesn't typically wear this tiara but she knows she has to make a really good impression so she's explaining why she wants to meet the queen and see or the empress sorry in this case and really Dayu should not be sitting in on this conversation so that's probably gonna make her father mad because I'm sure that if the children were not there and I know they're damn near adults but if his kids weren't there he would probably be asking what are you going to do for me versus why should our kingdom help you because that's what he's asking Queen Lauren right now why should we help you and she's saying I can offer an alliance to your kingdom and possibly more if you allow me the opportunity to seek some help for my husband so Dayu is really excited to see so 
some a new face looks like and um that also distracts her father from being rude to her so i know that that makes her happy let's see what song is thinking or where she's at oh looks like she went in the house okay okay looks like dayu is more starstruck well she's a teenager and she's not of considered of royalty so maybe this is like a big so like a positive surprise to her so yeah maybe that's why dayu is all up in the mix okay so queen lauren is thinking that everything's going well and she's like okay well now may i possibly meet the empress do you think that that would be okay to do that today because i already have king fletcher here and louis is like all right look let's cut to the chase i want to know what you're gonna do for me i know that you want something from our kingdom but we don't know you and we don't know that we can trust you so what are you gonna give me to let me know that you're worthy of seeing the empress and she's saying i already told you i can offer you guys an alliance and i gave you ten thousand dollars what more would you want and he is probably if he had a lot of time to think about it he would probably ask for something that would give him an increase in power because if you remember he's jealous of his sister because he is technically the oldest so if he weren't illegitimate he would be the empress so he probably would want some type of royal title in newcrest but we don't know so we'll see how that goes okay so i think that dayu coming and you know she's being so excited her coming back into the mix uh luwe quickly changed his tune and was like you know what queen lauren forget all of that nonsense let me go on ahead and have the advisors take you to the empress so i know that luwe is probably super pissed at his daughter and he is probably gonna take it out on her later in some way so that's unfortunate and um i know that lauren just wants to go on ahead and get to the empress but you know she's in a different kingdom so she's probably putting on a more chipper face because she wouldn't dare be rude to the citizens of this country while she needs a favor so let's go on ahead and have queen lauren go to the royal palace okay you guys so queen lauren is now at the komarebi palace and again this is the winter holiday palace and she is giving them a respectful introduction so that's really good i don't know how long luwe is going to be here but go on ahead and give akiro his respectful introduction queen lauren maybe she's a little bit nervous let's see oh saying that she's excited yeah it looks like luwe has left okay she just dang it she should give the crown prince one too right she should really give everyone i don't know what's going on that she's becoming good friends with folks so fast because she literally just met them and now she's become good friends with them but let's just say that the trusted advisor luwe has explained why she is here and they are very particular about who they even let in their palace so this is why they've greeted her outside and they're asking her are you willing to talk about negotiations between our kingdoms if we help you and she's like yes i'd be willing to do anything because it is my top priority to make sure he's safe but to also make sure that we have a respect for each other's kingdoms and so they're asking queen lauren what is something that you would be willing to do and she says that she can promise the alliance of not only her kingdom but two others which is a very bold promise promise and they're asking her how can you promise the alliance of two other kingdoms and of course she's talking about the willow creek kingdom and the oasis springs kingdom in which she's very 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 good friends if not you would almost say best friends with the monarchs of those kingdoms so she's telling them i can explain to you more but i could even ask them to come and pay your kingdom a visit and have a royal tour and see what you think of them and they would be able to commit to an alliance i know they would be willing to do that to help king fletcher so they are intrigued by the idea also queen lauren is going to probably promise them that one of their future children can marry the next generation's heir which that would be a big promise so basically trying to arrange a marriage between their kingdoms so i think that empress lena is going to allow her to come in and she's going to meet the other royals in the family so let's go on and do that oh also guys before we do go in this castle is different from the other castle that i last 
showed you guys when we did a get to know the Komarebi dynasty video. And long story short, this castle is probably going to end up where their regular home is. And then we're going to probably put the castle that was already here back here. I just, it was just giving me issues at the moment and I hadn't had it furnished and I want them to have a nice furnished kingdom, especially for the storyline. So let's go on ahead and go on in. I think she, oh, is that grandma? Who is this? Oh my goodness. Okay. This is really silly. We have the crown prince Fuko out here singing, I'm, I'm guessing, in the snow in his swimsuit. I cannot. But she's going to meet him and everyone else. So let's, let's go on ahead and go in. Oh, there, the, the empress and emperor are feeling flirty. I can't. Okay. But let's go on ahead and have her go in. I've, I've said that like three times. But this place is absolutely stunning. Let me figure out where the door is so that she can knock on it so that she can get in. Because I know that you guys want to see King Fletcher. A lot of comments were saying that you hope he's okay, which we will find out shortly. But right now he's being taken care of. Shoot, I don't, okay, yeah, knock on door. Go on ahead and knock on the door, girl. But also Queen Lauren does not know it yet, but King Fletcher has asked for his sister to be here. He's, you know, sometimes guys can be a little bit more babyish when they're feeling sick, even though King Fletcher is really not doing well right now. So Marchioness Jacqueline is probably almost there to the kingdom and she's just gonna go straight to where King Fletcher is. So by the time we get there, we may or may not see her but um yeah she is going to be in Komorebi for a little bit as well why is Lauren not knocking on this door Okay, they told her, come on in. Where is she? Okay, so Queen Lauren has made her way in. She definitely shouldn't be in the sauna area, but this place is so absolutely stunning. But I think we're gonna have them sit in the tea room, which is right here. Where is it? Right here. We're gonna say that this is the tea room. So we're gonna have Queen Lauren sit here. Okay, you guys, so Queen Lauren has toured the palace. And as you guys can see, it is getting later. So Marchioness Jacqueline should definitely be at the place where King Fletcher is now. So she has gotten a more acquainted with the Empress and the Emperor and she has promised the alliance of the other kingdoms. And Empress Lena said to Queen Lauren that she would love to meet the rest of her family because she's promising that, you know, one of her future either children or grandchildren could marry their son's future heir, which is a pretty big promise considering she won't necessarily be alive to see that because, you know, Brayden will not be king until his parents pass away. So she wants to meet the rest of the family. So that's Queen Lauren who's probably texting Marchioness Jacqueline so that she can tell him that. But that means that we will see the new Crest kids here in the next episode, not this one, um, because right now <laughs> they're wondering where the heck their parents are at. And we're gonna have Queen Lauren go on ahead and go home. And that also means that because she did promise the allegiance of these other kingdoms, which is all also very bold. She can't necessarily agree to that, but she did. So we're gonna see them come here soon as well, possibly the next episode. So let's go on ahead and have Queen Lauren go to be with King Fletcher because the Emperor and Empress have agreed to let them stay and help him with some healing. Okay, you guys, so we are at the place that the new crest will be staying at while King Fletcher receives his care here. And this is a overview of the little area that they're staying at and as you can see way past the ski slopes that's where the palace is at so they're a good distance off but not too far away so yeah so as you guys can see Marchioness Jacqueline is also here she has of course arrived and I will show you guys a little bit of the inside oh where is she running off to um I'm not sure who this guy is can you please just leave sir thank you leave okay so we got rid of that ass because you're not supposed to be here sir okay Okay, so Queen Lauren can go on ahead and go in. Go in, girl. Let's go see about King Fletcher. But let me just show you a quick overview of this place. This is one of the rental lots. So they will be here for a lot for I don't want to say a long time, but they're going to be here for several episodes because I just feel like that would be realistic if you travel all the way to uh, like across the world. Um, You know, you're going to be there for a minute to make sure he has a good care. Again, this is Martinez Jacqueline. She has made it. She did. Um, talk to the kids about, you know, her and her sister-in-law and brother being here. I do, if I remember correctly, I do believe that I added just the slightest bit of custom content. I don't know why Queen Lauren is not in here, but um, 
this house is I'm a little bit confused by it partially because it almost seems like it's partially set up as like a half bakery, half residential lot, half bar. So it's a little bit confusing, but I digress. I do think that for, you know, the situation at hand, this last minute accommodation is really nice, especially considering that in this culture, the housing units are typically really small. They have a butler here and ideally they would have other staff here as well. We just don't see them at the moment. I think that's the maid suggesting to King Fletcher his ass should be in bed which he most definitely should be so let's see he and Queen Lauren's bedroom so this is their bedroom here and honestly I think this bed here is going to act as King Fletcher's hospital bed and let's just say we're gonna have him take a nice hot bath because maybe that might help him feel a little bit better especially after all that traveling so yeah he's doing miserable as you guys can probably probably see in his little thumbnail here but I'll try and show you his actual face. He has aged quite a bit from this ordeal. His hair is starting to gray out some so he's a little bit. I feel so bad for King Fletcher. He's not doing the best at all. Bless his little heart. Where's he at? Okay. <laughs> Why does he, go, what, is he going outside to take a bath? I yo, I can't. I want y'all to see his face, but yeah, look at King Fletcher. He looks so sad, but hopefully that little bath will make him feel better. So we're gonna go on ahead and leave them be because he's gonna start receiving treatment. So he's probably gonna go to the onsen and things of that nature, but we need to go check in with the kids to see how they're dealing with everything that's going on right now. So let's see how that goes. I'm sorry we are about to go but before we do I just wanted to showcase this custom content tub that looks so nice and looks like King Fletcher's enjoying himself even though he's really miserable. <laughs> but okay guys let's go on ahead and go back to Newcrest. Okay you guys so we are at the Newcrest castle and we are going to see how the kids are doing and you know some of the quote-unquote kids are adults but you know what I they're children. They're, they're the king and queen's children so we're gonna go check in on them so so let's see. Looks like there's a very interesting array of emotions going on. Ooh, Prince Brayden is furious. If you guys don't remember, he does have a hot-headed trait. Um, so we don't see it pop out often, which is good. But when it pops out, honey, it pops out. So he is ups very clearly very upset that his parents just left without letting him know. And he's probably thinking, okay, well, who's supposed to take care of the kingdom while they're gone? Because I know I'm not necessarily supposed to do it yet. You know he's he's just not happy he feels like his parents should have told them that they were leaving so let's have him chat with his mom he's probably gonna call her up like girl why didn't you tell us okay so we see prince Brayden. he's on the phone with his mom oh that conversation was short wait what did the notification wall say i'm just curious call later Ooh. okay so i know that's gonna make him really mad but he's upset because <laughs> she she should have let the kids know she could have sh shot them a text or anything but you know all March and this Jacqueline told them was that they're leaving and they won't be back for a while so he's pissed and I'm sure that in the morning when Queen Lauren tells him what's going on he might be a little bit more understanding especially when he finds out that they're gonna be going too which they don't know yet but let's check in on Princess Jewel let me see okay oh she's really sad she's just worried about her dad she doesn't know what's going on and she's probably upset too but she's not angry about it like her brother you guys if you can hear that noise in the background i am so sorry some some people are outside being really really loud which is interesting because it's like a blizzard out but anyways yeah so jewel looks really really sad and she's just probably super concerned about her parents we don't know or she doesn't know what's fully going on all they know is that their dad is not doing well let's take a look in at Landon Landon is feeling pretty tense too oh that's hilarious he still has on his Christmas hat oh who is this that we see okay Ashmal is here okay let's have Clara go get Ashmal wait Ashmal don't go please oh he's on the computer as you guys remember in the beginning of the machinima he did say that he would stay to you know help Clara feel a little bit better so he is here he I I feel like it would be kind of taboo under normal circumstances for him to be spending the night. Um, but he's not gonna be sleeping like in the same quarters as 
Clara is because he's not here to be, you know, romantic with her right now. He's just here to support her. And as we can see, she's feeling really sad. Oh man. So all the kids are just really sad. I feel like, uh, let's see, Chea. Oh, Chea is happy. Wait, what is this? What the hell? That's weird. Okay, we're gonna pretend we didn't see that because Jewel and Brayden are siblings. Okay, but anyways, I think that Chea might feel like, or maybe they're not telling Chea what's been going on because she's so young and they don't want her to be upset or anything. So she's just thinking mom and dad are just, she's probably thinking mom and dad are just like going on a trip or something. And Che is asking her, you know, why does it seem like y'all are so upset? And Clara's like, just go swim, Chea. And she started crying and now she's going to go ask Landon. She hasn't have a clue what's going on. So she's just super happy. But I think that it's really sweet that her siblings are trying to protect her and not let her know, you know, what all is so upsetting about everything. Uh, let's see. Brayden has looks like he's cooled down a bit okay maybe jewel is telling him you know i know you're upset we don't know what's going on but don't get angry clearly she's doing something to help take care of dad so it seems like jewel did a good job of helping her brother calm down a bit and maybe they're just you know try not to think about it too much which i think is really good so let's just go have clara interact with ajmal real quick um is she naked what is going on <laughs> Okay, she's using the bathroom. When she gets done in the bathroom, we're gonna have her talk to Ajmal. Since he did come all this way to see her, let me just find him in this big ass house, girl. Because y'all know these mansions. Lord only knows what room he's in. Okay, you guys, so I think that Ajmal found Clara crying in the bathroom. Now, this is very interesting that this is what Clara I don't know if she was like swimming for a second or what, but this is one of her little swimsuits from when she had her little hoe phase, attention seeking phase. So this is interesting that she knows that Ajmal is over here and this is what she chose to wear. But I think that Ajmal wanted to make sure that she was okay. And she's asking, well, not straight up asking for reassurance, but I know that Ajmal is giving her some reassurance. But I know Ajmal is telling her everything is gonna be okay. I know that he is there solely to support her, which he's making very, very clear to her. Like, don't feel like you need to try to do any romantic anything right now. Like, I'm not here for that. I'm just here to support you because you're going through a hard time and I just don't want you to have to deal with that alone. And I know that she's really grateful for that. And he's saying, you know, if there's anything that I can do while I'm here for the next couple days, let me know and I'd be more than happy to do it. And she's telling him that just you being here is doing a lot and I appreciate it. And I know that <laughs> Brayden and his siblings are like, girl, what are you doing dressed like this? And she's like, don't worry about me, worry about yourself. So we know that she's doing it for a little bit of attention seeking cause she does have a drama queen trait. But yeah, so let's go switch back to Brayden so that he can finally call his mama. Wait, come on now, switch to Brayden. Okay, so now why they've all decided to gather in this bathroom is beyond me. They were probably wondering why Claire was in here half nude, acting like a little Tatiana. But Brayden is now asking his mom, why on earth did you leave and not tell us where you're at? Where are you? And she's explaining to him, she's in Mount Komorebi. Look at Clara in the background, y'all, I cannot. But anyways, he's like, you know, you could have let us know where you're at. We have no idea what's going on, is that okay? And he really should not be talking about this in front of Chea, but as a hothead, he really ha is not thinking like that. Oh my goodness, he's not thinking about that fully. And Queen Lauren is telling him, you know, calm down. I know you're upset, but you guys are gonna be joining us very soon. I'm actually sending a jet to come get you guys right now. You're gonna be coming to Coma Reb and on the plane, I can explain it to you. It's a long story, but we're in this other kingdom so dad can get some healing. So stop acting so angry and, you you know, just pack your stuff and get ready to go. So Brayden is gonna go tell his siblings that. And of, oh my gosh, he's enraged. Oh my gosh. He's probably pissed that he's being told all of a sudden, okay, you're gonna have to now come to this kingdom. Oh, he's, okay, girl, I thought he was about to drop dead. I was gonna say, no, no. Okay, but anyways, okay. <laughs> so maybe he's doing this to try to calm down. That's what you do, calm calm that ass down. Okay, so they, they're really 
favoring this bathroom right now. But you know, Chea and Jewel were right there when he had that conversation. Jewel was probably explaining to Chea a little bit of what was going on and looks like she's about to talk to her brother, letting him know you shouldn't have had that conversation in front of Chea like that. But she's just like, oh, Chea, don't worry about it. We're about to have a little trip to go visit mom and dad. So that's probably why Chea was pumped up doing those push-ups. She was excited about it. Looks like Brayden and Jewel are arguing a little bit in the background, possibly. Oh no, okay. Looks like maybe he was just continuing to calm down. Okay, you guys, so you just heard that call with Brayden. Queen Lauren says, get ready to pack y'all's bags because you're coming to Mount Komorebi and I'll explain everything when you get here. And yeah, so what do you guys think of this episode? What do you think of Luwe and Queen Lauren's interactions earlier? Him trying to switch it up on her saying, you know, you gotta do something for me in order for us to help your husband. What do you guys think is going to happen when they get to Mount Komorebi? And what do you guys think of how Clara acted while Ashmal was here? She probably wouldn't have been able to do some of those outfits if her parents were here and she knows that. But what do you guys think of everything that is going on with this situation? Let me know in the comments below. Whoa, wait a minute. What the free? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my goodness. I got to turn off autonomy because this is ridiculous. Why would they fight like that? It didn't even affect their relationship at all. Okay, we're going to pretend <laughs> we're going to pretend that that did not happen. Wait a minute. Oh my god. We're not Oh my god. Okay, wow. Okay, so <laughs> Pretend that didn't happen because he would not, in real life, he would not put his hands on a woman like that. That was wild and out of control. And literally there was no reason for them to fight like that. So let's just pretend that that didn't happen. But anyways, you guys, let me know. <laughs> let me know. And that fight will not come into play in the storyline because that was not supposed to happen at all. I have no idea why they put the hands on each other like that. Oh my God, he is running so fast though. Where is he running? What if he's running to fight her again, you guys? What a, what a unprecedented and it's surprise she i just cannot with them okay wow anyways i will see you guys in the next episode bye